Testing one, two. Okay, this is Mr. Ayala again. That's my ring. Um, I'm going to give you a little demonstration on how uh, I want you to create a basket weave texture and then I'll talk to you about the project. Uh, you're going to find a lot more examples on your Canvas program. Okay, so here's some examples of what I'm talking about. So you're going to pick an object and you're going to create the object in a way, or design, I should say, the object in a way as it would be, as it would look if it were made of a basket weave. Yeah, okay. Words escape me today. Here's another example. It's a hand and we just apply this basket weave texture to the hand and there's a nice little basket there. Um, again, you're learning this texture and you're going to apply it in some sort of creative way. In my assignments, I like technique and I like creativity. Always have room for some sort of creative approach to uh, a certain technique you learn, okay? And again, in your canvas, there's some really wonderful ideas where kids will combine the use of pencil and color pencil, et cetera, et cetera. Here's another one. Okay. It's a very simple technique, but it's very effective. Now, I'm requiring it, as I do with all projects, I, I required minimally a certain way, but you can always take it upon yourself to do something extra like you know, I'm saying use pencil, but you know, this is a great project for ink pen as well. Okay, so I'm gonna get a piece of paper and I'm gonna show you a basic um, way to do this. Now remember, if you're using a shape, you're going to use uh, the lines in a way that it kind of will follow the contour of the image. And I'll get to that in a little bit. I'm just trying to see where I got this really, just really, just terrible. I have my phone taped to a ruler, and I have a brick on it, and I don't know what happened to my tripod. So I'm hopefully, I'm just kind of trying to figure out where I could do this without messing, without, you know, getting out of the camera's viewfinder. Okay, all right. So here we go. So you draw a line like this, another line another line, try to get them parallel. And the beauty of this project, like with the rope project, is that if the lines are a little crooked, it just makes it look more real. Okay, if some are thinner, or wider I should say, that's fine because, you know, um, a woven item or image doesn't have to be um, precise. Okay, so anyway, talk too much. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create these little vertical lines. Okay, skip, little vertical line. This is kind of a, a, a way of doing the, um, am I getting it? Of doing the the weave, the woven parts that go the, the other way. Okay, so I'm gonna kinda of come over here and then I'm gonna do another one like this. Okay, like this and like this. Keep, you know, about the same. Again, it doesn't have to be exact. You know, one of the greatest, to me, aspects of art is just allowing things to happen and not being so tight about oh, being accurate or whatever. You learn a lot from, from experiments and you learn a lot from mistakes. Okay, so about the, the middle of this longer extended rectangle, I'm going to put another row here so it's, and it follows that. Okay, now I'm not going to fill this whole thing up. I'm just going to let you in on how I want you to do this, and then you can take it from there. Okay, that should be enough. Now, the next step is quite easy. You're going to go here, and you're just going to flick your pencil out. Okay. Creating a texture. And you do the same thing on the opposite side. Now, if you want to turn your paper around because you feel more comfortable, you know, flicking your pencil right to left, left to right, please do. I'll throw a few in there. Okay. Now, 
to give it more kind of uh, dimension, I come back and I'll kind of just darken this in and I'll darken this in as well. Okay. I have no idea how this is looking on the, on the camera. Now I'm going to do this too. I'm going to make a little dark line that kind of just curves a little, creating like a little space there. Okay. All right. And I do this. Okay. Because we're thinking of value right now. We're thinking of just making this thing go, you know, one way and then another. Now, then these little guys are just going to go this way. Okay, like that. I'll move my pencil this time. Like that. Okay. And then I'm just going to do this on the other side. Like that. Bring this over. Am I getting in there? Yeah, I'm getting in there. Okay. I, I know this is going to be kind of monotonous, but you know, good art requires a little bit of focus and, you know, and, and patience and it's not, it's not important that things get done right away. I think we live in a society where everything is immediate, you know, immediate gratification. And sometimes you take time to do art, it's, it's, it's kind of nice, it's a nice contrast from the craziness of the world, you know, okay, hear me, I'm trying to be a philosopher now, okay, let me do this too on this side here, there we go, now if any of you out there, and I assume you are, because I'm like that, that happen to be teaching art, you know, in whatever capacity that is, this is a great project. It's an alternative to shading, you know, um, with the normal way, I shouldn't say the normal way, but you know, the more common way where you're blending. Okay, sharpen these, darken these in here. Okay. And then I do the same thing here. Okay, and this is also a great lesson on contouring, uh, teaching kids about what contour means. Okay, are you getting the message here? Now, for you guys watching this on your canvas, I want you to give me a little bit of this before you proceed to your design, okay? I want you to show me that that you have this this pattern down, this technique down, whatever you want to call it. Okay, I'll do one more. I could speed through this and do the whole thing, but there's no need. I mean, it takes a minute to, to learn. Okay. All right, I'll do the same thing here. Like I said, you could do it with an ink pen. Okay. All right, here. I'm going to do this a little faster too. Yeah, I shouldn't get lazy. You know, uh, a mechanical pencil works pretty good too, but I still like the old Ticonderoga number twos, you know. They're not as cheap as they used to be, but they still do the job. Okay, so you, you get the idea, right? I'm assuming. You want to come back later on and you want to punch all the darknesses, all the darkness excuse me, dark values where you need them, okay? Uh, you can use color pencil for this. That's cool too, color pencil would be cool. All right, so I'm gonna take a, a little break there because th oh, this could be a lot better, but I'm not gonna spend the time. Just wanna talk to you about contour. Okay, so say for example, you have, I don't know. Let me just kind of draw this really quick, okay? You're gonna do a bottle, okay? Even the bottle doesn't have to be symmetrical, okay? So that's kind of a crazy bottle. Now, and you wanna make this into a basket weave. Okay, what you don't wanna do is draw lines straight across, okay? Because the bottle is round. And because the bottle is round, the little stripes are gonna be following that. 
echoing that, hence contour. This is the contour down here. Usually the bottom and the top, like if you're doing a some sort of can or something like this, okay, you don't draw a line straight across the bottom. This right here is the contour of the can, so this would be the contour down there. They would parallel each other. So then you would say, well, my stripes need to go this way, like this, like this, like this. So you can make a basket, you can make an, an object, um, how do I say this? A basket out of any object, okay? Okay, so there's an example of the contour of that, okay? So this would follow this right here. Okay, so you remember that. If it's a flat surface, then it would follow the contour of that flat surface. This would be the inside, if you were going to do the inside. Okay, and then you would put your little things right here. Okay, like this, maybe. Like that, like that. And then you would go ahead and start to, you know. Um, use your imagination, please. You can come up with so many good ideas. Again, here is an example of a student project. This is 12 by 18, by the way. Okay, they had, you, you know, I've had kids have rips and tears and then little cool things start coming out. Okay, this one's kind of simple, small, but it's effective. Okay, this one I like because the kid is much more imaginative. So some kids will, will do more than other kids. All right, anyway, I talked too much. This is the Basket Weave Project. It's worth 100 points. This is Mr. Ayala saying, Bye. Oops. Bye.